Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So sorry if you hear some background noise. We are watching the Green Bay Packers game. Go Packers. I hope after I film this video, they have won. But if not, it's okay. So we're going to be doing my third cash stuffing for the month of January. And today's total is going to be $1,150. So let's get started. As always, we are starting with my cash envelope. So I did not spend anything in spending, which is amazing. And next food is going to be getting $20. So my cash envelopes do say shopping and fun, but I just use them for spending and food instead. So now I have $22 in food. I hope you guys are doing well. So I usually post my videos. I try to post them on Saturdays, but I did work today. So I'm just dealing with having worked on Saturday. It feels like a Friday instead, but it's okay. So next is my bills binder. Okay, so bills with rent. Rent is getting $225. One, two, a 20 and a 5. Whoops. 20 and a 5. Okay, so rent now has 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, $900, which is exactly how much my half is. So I am a month ahead, well, not a month, a week ahead because it was an extra week in December. So I just still saved up as I normally would, $225 every week. So rent is fully funded, but next week I will still continue to save my $225. So phone bill is getting $10. So let's get a 10 so phone bill has 10, 20, 25, $30. So after next week, I only put $10 in my utility stuff, like my phone bill, electricity, and Wi-Fi. Normally my half is all um, $40, thank God, because I know some utilities are very expensive. So next week, everything will be fully funded. Wi-Fi is getting 10 also. Um, and I only have fives, okay. Five, 10. Okay, so $10, 15 20 $25, $30. So I only was able to get to the ATM today. So that's why I have some small bills. But I'm excited for the bill exchange at the end of the month. Electricity is getting $10 as well. So $10, 15 20 $25, $30. Okay. Loan is getting $100. There should be $300 in here. $300. So MasterCard is getting $50. Okay, so I'm just trying to pay off my bill completely this month. So I have nothing left over. So MasterCard has $100. 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. So I believe that's 490. 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. Yeah, 490. 490. Okay, and then the rest of the binder is not getting stuffed because, um, well, actually, I'm getting confused. Personal binder is not getting stuffed because I did buy myself two Louis Vuitton bags. One was funded, the other one was not. Um, I will put a card here of my purchase just so you guys can understand. And that's the thing of just having your finances in order is that you are, if you're financially stable, you can go ahead and take some money out of your personal savings and put it towards something you really wanted, which was that Louis Vuitton bag that I wanted. Um, it's very hard to find and that's just something I like and what I want and I don't tend to want and like a lot of things So I know this will be a purchase I will have forever and I will be very grateful for it And it's something that I wanted for a long time as well And it was something I worked really hard for so I am paying myself back in my personal savings so personal Lashes nails all that fun stuff is getting skipped for this week Okay rant over so Roth IRA is getting $250 per usual. Tax season is coming up. Very exciting. I hope I get some money back. 
I think we all hope that. Okay, so Roth IRA has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 650, 700, 20, 40, 45, 50. So 750 is in Roth IRA. So wedding is getting a weird amount only because like I said, um, I did have to prioritize my other envelopes um, prior to that. So wedding is important to me, but I'm not getting married this week, but I do have exciting news. I think I am um, settling on a date and a plan, but I'm very private when it comes to things like that, but it is very exciting and it was very unexpected um, news, but maybe I'll share it another time. So wedding's getting $23, so one, two, and three. So it's a weird amount because I just wanted to utilize my full check. So surprisingly, $23 is left over probably because of my um, savings challenges. So wedding has 50, 70, 90, 110, 115, 120, 121, 22, 23. So 123. Okay. And then the rest of this stuff is not getting stacked. Okay, so savings is getting $100. The savings has 100, 200, 20, 40, 45, 50. So 250 in savings. Okay, emergency fund is getting $100. This emergency fund has 100, 225, so 225. So I am trying to um, think of a template for the end of the month because I do want to um, see how much money I have saved at the end of the month, but also see the total of what's in my savings account because I do have more money in these accounts than what's listed here because of last year. But I did want to um, start off fresh just so I can see how much I save alone in 2022. But I do have like a $1,000 goal of emergency fund. So I'll see at the end of the month with how much I saved in January if I have reached that or not. So hopefully that makes sense. But I am uh, working on a template to see if I can make something um, work out. Flash Medical is getting $75. 20, 40, 60. I hope this works out if it's a nomination. 65, 70, 75 dollars. So let's double check. So 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75 dollars for my flashy. So flash has 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 155, 160, 165, 170, 175. Okay, and um, fun is going to be getting $20. So this is something that I do want to kind of prioritize, but I do want to put money to it because um, do I have fun even here? I think fun is on the other binder. So yeah, fun was in my other binder, but I am going to put $20 there because I am going to be having um, brunch with a friend very soon. And I will be going for drinks tomorrow with some friends um, to watch the football game tomorrow. So I do want to put some money in here so I can take with me for tomorrow for some snacks and drinks. So fun has $20, $40, $60. So hopefully that's enough. If not, I do have some spending money that I can use. And that's all that's getting stuck here. Then, as I said, I do want to um, keep myself accountable for these holidays and like these saving challenges that I have. So Valentine's Day is getting $20. So it has $40 now. So for Valentine's Day, we're actually going out of town, which is um, very exciting. Um, gonna be a first time going out of town for Valentine's Day, so I'm excited for that. Maybe we'll celebrate before or while we're gone. And anniversary is getting $20, so I now have $40. I swear these months are going by so fast, so soon it's going to be February, and before you know it, it's going to be summertime. So Halloween is getting $15, so let me get a marker. Okay, so um, I did get this um, Halloween challenge from Budget with Amanda. So we're going to be doing week two for $15. Hopefully you can see that in the light. So 15. I'll let it dry a little bit. So 5, 10, 15. So at the end of this 12-week uh, challenge, we'll have $200. So 10, 15, 20, 25, $30. 
So for Halloween, I usually have like a Halloween party. Well, not usually, but because of COVID, I've been having a little Halloween um, party at my house for my niece and my nephew to come by and carve some pumpkins and do some fun stuff and bake cupcakes. So that's what we typically do for Halloween. Oh, let me put this inside. Black Friday is getting $2, so I am doing a 100 envelope challenge also with Budget with Amanda because it was a freebie. Thank you, Amanda. And I'll list your information down below. So I decided to let me just try and do this 100 week challenge for Black Friday and just put a little bit aside um, every chance that I get so I could just save up for Black Friday. So Black Friday has $3 total. So I was really shocked that this year I did do a lot of Black Friday shopping, but it was typically just clothing because I did want a new wardrobe and I was lucky enough to find some Hall um, some Christmas stuff as well. So maybe having this money saved up or having Christmas money saved up will really help me when that time comes around. So I am going to be doing, um, I have to put this back. Sorry if I'm all over the place. But I'm going to be doing a Christmas savings challenge as well with um, Budget with Amanda. So technically, February is $40, but I'm going to be putting away um, $40 for this week. I'm going to try to double this amount of $5.50 by the time it's Christmas. So instead of doing it bi-monthly, I'm just going to be doing it um, weekly. So here's $40. And there's already $40 here, so Christmas has $80 now. Since I have the extra cash, I might as well just put it towards my savings. There's really nothing else that I have to go shopping for, as I mentioned. So I'm very grateful for having some extra cash to put away. And then next is my savings challenges. So I'll put this to the side for now. So for my 100 envelope challenge, envelope number five is getting stuffed with $5. And I will, of course, link everything that I use down below. I think I'm just going to keep that as a little template in all of my videos so I don't have to just keep um, looking for it. So that's five there. Then um, the 26-week challenge is going to be $50. So I believe my goal here is $2,000. So this is by Tara Budgets. She did just sell out of this, but I will um, link her Etsy anyways on her YouTube channel. And she basically has either 26, 50 to 100 envelopes. And she includes stickers that you can put your own amount. So if you want to, let's say, save $100 instead or $50 or however much you want, you could just um, manipulate it in that way. So I believe mine is um, $2,000. And I think I want to use this either towards my wedding or maybe my loan. I haven't decided because I'm doing so many different um, challenges. So I'm going to be doing $50. So here's $150. So here's $20, $25, $30, $35, $40, $45, $50. dollars As I mentioned, I couldn't get, um, what's it called, bigger bills. So I'm just going to put this in here, and the envelopes are thick enough anyways. That's fine. And then last day is a 52-week challenge. And then this is from Kay's Wallet. And Kay's Wallet has done literally all of my envelopes. I love her. I rave about her all the time. I will link her down below. And she gave me this as a freebie. It comes in black or white. And it has a little thing you can follow here as well. And the total is $1,387 at the end of this 52-week challenge. So we're doing week five, which is $5. And I'm very happy I am holding myself accountable for the last five weeks. So let's go New Year's. <laughs> so that concludes this week's cash stuffing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will link my last video over here as always. Please subscribe to my channel, like and comment, and let me know if you guys want to see anything different, anything new, or if you just like what I'm doing. But as always, thank you so much for your support, and I will see you guys next week, and have a great weekend. Bye!